Now, let me just say this, right? TikTok is having too much fun with the royal story. But I also do want to say this because I have a theory. I was talking with my girl, uh, Black Letter Law, you know, and, um, you know, this is about the article that was Prince Williams beside himself over Kate Middleton's decision to step away from royal duties. OK, and they said, wow, the word choice for this article is very telling. They're going to blame Kate for the divorce. Kate's rumored decision was reportedly has rocked her marriage in a king awaiting Prince William and the monarchy. And they said, yep, that's a modus operandi. Protect the air. OK, so she actually had a few things that I want to read to you. Um, maybe we'll have Black Letter Law on for a set when we can steal her away. We want to invite her on because we're going to discuss all things Sussex Squad. I really want her on to talk. Maybe I'll wait until I go live again until she can come on. Right? She thinks that they are blackmailing Kate. Right? Because they're like even today's sighting was flake. She thinks they're blackmailing Kate. They're going to say Kate wants a divorce, and I was like. I don't really think William would do that. Like, I don't think that they could blackmail her because I think that Kate wants that power of being queen more than anything. Do you know how much is she had to eat to actually, even as a commoner, be accepted? And and she said, no. And I said, but Kate doesn't want it. She said, no, Kate doesn't want the divorce, but the palace is setting it up or it will be announced that she is the one who wants the divorce. Because she said, right, I said, listen, I don't think Kate's conscious. She said, why was her fam Why has her family been so quiet? Big Mama Middleton has always had strong ties to the tabloids. She sold stories about Megan. She hates Megan. So why is she so quiet about her daughter? I think she's so quiet because they aren't in a position of power. That means Kate has either, one, gone mad, two, had a stroke and is deformed, three, has a colostomy bag, or four, gave birth to a black baby. <laughs> Now that was a joke, right? Because you know the you know the royal races, they don't like that. But let me just say this, right? Because I want to give my theory on what I think is happening. And it sounds a little out there, but there's a lot of speculation and the royals keep lying. So honestly, my guess right now is actually better than what um I think that my uh, I think that my uh, theory is just as airtight as the palaces because they've been exposed as liars. So we don't even know if my speculation is whatever. So you know what? The royal started it. Let's go in. Here's what I think would happen. I think that William has been moving to divorce Kate for a minute. You can tell from the last year, he's been absolutely disgusted by her touch. And I mean, right, disgusted by her touch. It looks like just, ugh. I think that he's wanted a divorce. I think that they've known for a while that Charles is sick. Just humor me. I think that they've known. And again, this isn't fact. This is my opinion. Go make up your own mind. I'm just sharing this with you, right? Um, I think that Charles let it be known before we, the public, knew that he had cancer. And I think that William, just like Harry, who got on a plane and flew to see Charles, they know that Charles might not have much longer on this earth. I think before William thought that when George went to Eton, he could divorce Diana because all they care about is the heir being away from the mom so they can start crafting him into a little baby William, right? I think that, hold on, I'm going somewhere. This is going to get good. I think that there was a timetable and I think Charles' illness moved it up. And I think that William told Kate with no uncertainty, because she has no power. Her mom is broke. They've been humiliated. And he stopped hanging around the family. He used to be super tight with Kate's family. You know, when you're about to leave someone, you start distancing yourself from their family. I think Kate told William, I mean, William told Kate around December 28th, listen, I don't want to be married anymore. And I think Kate lost it. Now, Hear me out on this. I also think another thing's going on. And I know this sounds weird, but just hear me out. I think that Kate was, when they said this was a planned procedure, I think what Kate was going in for a little nip and tuck. I do. Kate's known for that. And she's always, 
Remember when she got that boot? Well, whatever. I don't want to talk about the surgery that it looks like she got because Kate claims she never got plastic surgery. But Kate really prides herself on her looks. And all she was known for was being a beauty. The royals never considered her anything else. I think that while Kate was going under for a routine nip and tuck, whatever that is, I think that they took the liberty of giving her a hysterectomy. I think that's when the abdominal surgery came in. Now, why would they do that? Well, the royals have a history of doing things to women without their consent. Read the history books. Um, I do believe that Diana was rumored when she was Princess of Wales, when she divorced child, she was still, Charles, she could still have babies. Diana was rumored to be pregnant with Dodie Fiat's child. Like, we don't know if that's true. But if they couldn't even stand mixed race cousins, right? What's the odds that they would want Kate to create with her new husband? Because there's going to be lots of people that want to snap up the Princess of Wales, just like there was with Diana, because people trade in clout. What's the odds that if William divorced Kate, they wouldn't pull all the loose strings or cut all the loose strings off to make sure she could do nothing to damage the royal bloodline? What would be more damaging to the royal bloodline than Kate creating an alternate royal bloodline? Then Kate literally creating a king a brother, a sister to the king and prince and princesses of England. They protect that bloodline like no other. A queen can never really divorce or a princess because if you're of childbearing age, what if you have children with someone else? What if they're foreign? What if they're... <gasps> now, we all know, Kate, that probably never happened. But what if, what if, what if? You kind of get where I'm going with this. What if, what if, what if? So if William knows he's leaving her and they're like, well, we can't create like a competing bloodline because that, during, that's just not going to work. What if she went in for nip and tuck? What if she woke up and she found out unbeknownst to her, she had abdominal surgery. And what if she completely lost her ish, either descended into madness or was so shocked and taken aback that she said, I will no longer play this game. What if it sent her over the edge? Now, again, this might sound far-fetched, but everything that's happened in this whole saga has been absurd. It's been far-fetched. It's been riddled with lies. And as much as Kensington Palace wants to deny that those lies weren't coming from Twitter, those lies weren't, the lies were coming from in the house. You guys, the saga is still not over. You know, I'm going to cover it every which way. Let me know in the comments if you want Black Letter Law to come on because she is a legal genius, but she's also super, super on top of what's going on with Kate. And we would love to trade theories because the only people conspiring are the palace about what's going on. Anyway, you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.